Okay, my name is Jam Aquino. I'm a staff photographer at the Honolulu Star Advertiser. Uh, thank you to Jesse for having me on the show to show you guys what's in my bag. So, uh, start off with a bag where we have a Think Tank Airport Security Roller. Um, I love this bag because it allows me to roll instead of uh, carrying carrying it on my back, which I did for so long, and it's just uh, so much easier on both your body and the gear when it's rolling. It's very padded and stuff. Think Tank does a very good job. Um, it's also uh, TSA, TSA uh, supported, so you check it in, you go through security checkpoints, you can have this locked and TSA can get to it no problem. It does fit airline regulations for overheads, so you can toss it overhead. You never ever have to check in your, your stuff you know, in, down, either down below or at the gate check-in, which is uh, number one rule, you never ever do that. Um, so, let's open up the bag and see what I got in here. So, we got three camera bodies. I'll show you the first one. Um, we have a Can Canon 1D Mark III with a 70 to 200, 28 of course. Um, I use rubber hoods, this one's kind of broken already, but I use rubber hoods for two reasons on the 70-200. One is uh, I shoot a lot of basketball and uh, when you're sitting on the baseline and, and uh, players coming at you and they jump and they fall on you, which has happened several times to me, um, it's better for both myself and the player that it's rubber because they don't they fall and it just kind of collapses like this and at that point you're ducking away so it just kind of like this versus you see the hood that it normally comes with something like this it's just static, it's very sharp. You, know, you get a guy that weighs 230 pounds falling on this, it's gotta hurt. So that's, uh, that's why I use the rubber hood. And the second reason is uh, when I shoot through, we can shoot through a lot of glass and uh, everything else, it collapses. So instead of going right up to the glass, you can go whoop, and go right up to the glass and shoot like that. You can have uh, great aquarium shots or if you're shooting through like a storefront or something like that to get to somewhere else, it's, uh, it's good. So, Mark III 7200, one of the two main cameras I carry on my shoulder at all times. So, my second camera that I carry all the time is a Mark IIN, Canon 1D Mark IIN with a 1635. 1635, as you know, may or may not know, it's a bread and butter lens for news and photojournalism. So like I said, uh, 30 seconds ago, I carry two cameras on my shoulders at all times. It's 7200 and 1635. Wide angle. And then um, I carry a third body with me just in case either one of these fail and they have failed on me before. Um, it's just a uh, Canon 1D Mark II. And trusted, trusted and road tested. Uh, then what else I got? I have a Canon 24 to 70, 28, which I use for portraits and uh, some macro stuff. But it's mainly uh, I don't use it as much as I do my 1635, just because it's a uh, it's mainly for like I said macro work and just standard portrait stuff. If I need to shoot a mug of somebody or something like that, um, I carry two 580 EX flashes with Stofan Omni bounces. There you go. Um, and then uh, for if I have to do a quick portrait, um, I also carry with me a, a STE2, which triggers these uh, 580 EXs uh, without cords off the camera. And my my uh, my advice to everyone is, who's shooting portraits, never ever have your flash or your light source on your hot shoe your camera. Always light it away, so it gives you a little bit more depth. And that's what I use for for quick portraits. And then. Uh, Normally, if I do have a portrait that I know I'm going to, I carry a set of pocket wizards in this pocket, in this this pocket right here, and uh, the cords for the pocket wizards are here, and then um, and then I can fire anywhere from two to five speed lights. I use a combination of both Canon and Nikon speed lights for my pocket wizard portrait setup. Uh, Nikon speed light 800, three of them, and the two 580s. Um, I also have here uh, teleconverters 1.4 and uh, 2x in case I need the reach. 2x is very soft though. Uh, I wouldn't really recommend using a 2x unless you absolutely need it. Um, 
course, compact flash cards. Um, I carry anywhere between 12 to 16 gigs depending on, on what, but as you see there's three slots empty and it's like having a gun, I always have my cameras with batteries and compact flash cards in them. Always, always, always. Even if they're just in storage, even if it's my day off. Because you'll never know when you just got to grab your equipment and go. And you want to be able to open this bag up real quick, grab your camera, turn it on, and be able to shoot right away. That's number one thing. And uh, one more thing is uh, we use a lot of these. This is a, it's a Nikon hot shoe cover. And we shoot a lot in, in inclement weather and rain and stuff. And, what, it, what this does, it slides over here, it slides over the, uh, the hot shoe and you can already see some of the corrosion here from shooting in the rain, but it just helps protect the, the connection so when, you're, uh, when you do dry off and you use your flash again, it's, it's, it's a good connection. But a, a good thing for people who have bad hot shoes is uh, use a rubber eraser and you can just kind of use a rubber eraser and go around the hot shoe and it generally, I want to say generally, not all the time, but it, it, it it re it re-intensifies that connection so you're able to use your hot shoe. Um and uh angle finder here, which is uh what I use. I use it a lot for sports. Um it goes on the it goes on the back right here and allows you to shoot almost at ground level so you can keep your camera down and shoot at ground level. Uh interesting perspective, especially for like football and uh basketball when you're ground level. Ground level is always cool. A lot of people uh a lot of people at, wonder how to make things look cooler and how to make perspectives look cooler and I just say hey you know what just lie on your ground lie on your stomach and you'll see things in a whole different way it's amazing what four feet can do to the perspective when you're a photographer um, oh last but not least always always have it in my in my bag gaff tape um, gaff tape is a lifesaver it can save connections it can uh, it can tape uh, lights to the wall, it could tape flashes to the wall. Um, I've gaff taped the lens back in shape. This 1635 very one here broke at this element right here and so it was hanging and I actually made it through an assignment by lining up the elements, putting it back in and then taping it at 20 and manually focusing and I was able to get shots from it. I mean and I, of course it's nothing like uh, like when it was fixed, but I was able to get something from it as opposed to just nothing at all. And this is what saved my life on that. Um, and that, well, one more thing, the security reasons. We, uh, the think tank in the back has this wire thing with a lock. And then uh, what this enables it, be between this and this lock right here, enables me to set up a workstation wherever I can lock it. I can lock it to this bench if I want to and uh, be able to lock all my gear with peace of mind and uh, go out and do my job. And uh, of course any good old pair of wire cutters will make do with this but it's just that much that much harder for them to do it. Who's gonna carry around wire cutters right? So. And that's it. That's in my bag. Um, if you want to see more of my work, check out my work on Star Advertisers, Daily Newspaper. I also have a blog on their site. Thank you to Jesse Miley Photo for having me, and I'll see you next time.